The workflow which I'm going to show you today is the ultimate secret behind achieving cinematic and extraordinary good looking AI videos for film and TV. If you have ever struggled to get that high quality look in your AI images or videos, or you're looking for a proven way to take them to the next level, this video is for you. I am Philip, a professional VFX artist with over 5 years of experience, having worked on movies and series for clients like Disney, Warner Bros and Netflix. And after spending hundreds of hours learning AI filmmaking, I have found a process that consistently delivers high quality results in AI video and imagery. If you follow along step by step, I will guarantee you, you will have a solid foundation to start creating your own AI short films or cinematic scenes. Plus, you will gain a much deeper understanding of how AI can help you master cinematography. So buckle up, because things are about to get tense. Or, <laughs> you know, just super cinematic. So what is actually the first step you have to take for creating cinematic shots in the end? I always start with an AI image generator like Midjourney or Flux, so we have control from the very beginning about the look and feel of the image. Midjourney is perfect for that, since we can also reference images from movie scenes or mention director names to achieve that look. The prompt formula, which works for me in 99% of the cases, is as follows. We type into Midjourney a cinematic or cinematic still a camera angle and lens, the scene, subject and action, the film or DOP style, and the aspect ratio, as well as crucial parameters that we need from Midjourney to create a cinematic look. But no worries, I will break those ones down for you quickly. I will in most cases put cinematic or cinematic still as the first word, since this is one of the keywords in your prompts to achieve a cinematic and filmic look in the first place. For camera angle and lens, it really depends which kind of shot you have in mind for your movies. I will give you some common examples for any shot you want to prompt basically. We have first of all the wide angle shot. This is mostly shot with a 24mm or wider shot. Besides that, we also have the low angle wide shot, eye level wide shot and over the shoulder wide shot. These can be prompted with a 24mm lens, a 35mm lens and a 35-50mm to lens. On the other hand, for close up shots, we would use terms like close up with a lens from 85mm to 135mm or even an extreme close-up with a lens from 135mm to 200mm. And lastly, we can use for medium and common shots a lens between 50mm and 70mm. For over-the-shoulder shots, the same 50mm to 70mm and for low angle medium shots, for example, we can use a standard lens like 35mm to 50mm. Following that, you will want to focus on three main elements in your prompts. The scene, subject and action. These three define the cinematic quality of your shot. First, we have the scene. This is the environment or backdrop. Whether it's a city, a forest or a spaceship, it sets the tone and atmosphere. Following that we have the subject, this is the character or main element in focus. It could be a cowboy, a robot or anything that drives your story. And last we have the action, this describes what the subject is doing. Are they running, standing still or looking around? This adds movement and life to your image. Next, you can add a movie or DOP that you know and reference him in the prompt so we get a reference from the look that he or she is using in the movies. This can basically range from Wes Anderson to Christopher Nolan. Just search up on the internet a movie that you can remember or saw and just search up the director or DOP to get the desired look from it. Of course you can also mix directors, you can also say Wes Anderson and Christopher Nolan and you will get a range between those two. As the last part, choose your aspect ratio and some important parameters, like the minus minus style raw, which I use in most of my prompts to get a really high quality to get then the desired cinematic look. With this prompt formula, you will have a great base and a guaranteed outcome for great cinematic images. 
Let me know down below in the comments if you have known that already or is this prompt structure is something new to you and how you use it for your own AM movies. Once we have done that, it's time for our next big step, which involves upscaling our image in Magnific AI. Once we are in Magnific AI, you can simply upload your image and then choose your desired upscale resolution. You can choose a specific style, but most of the times I leave it at standard, which gives already great results. From the settings below, I generally choose creativity at 1 and resemblance to 6, which works most of the times best for me. Start then the upscaler and check the results. We see that Magnific AI adds not just higher resolution, but also adds way more detail into our images, which we want for our video creation to really get the maximum quality out of our images and in the end for our final video. For a cheaper alternative, you can also use Crea AI, which I explained in another video, which I will link you right on the top. And now guys comes the crucial point, where we bring our images to life. To do that, we use Runway Gen 3 Alpha, as well as Kling AI, which are both on top of their game when it comes to AI video creation. We will start off with Runway, where we will use the image to video function. We will first choose Gen 3 Alpha Turbo on the top, since this model gives us the fastest generation times. Then drag and drop your upscaled AI image and give it a basic prompt description. It can be either the same prompt as a mid-journey or a simplified version of the prompt. Go then down to settings and make sure that you enable the remove runway watermark toggle. Besides that, also choose the length of your video. Once you are done, generate always at least four videos, because then you have the highest probability that one of them works fine. Choose then the video you are happy with or keep generating. While generating in one way, we can also use simultaneously Kling AI, which is also a great option to use for generating videos. Navigate on the homepage to AI videos, go then to image to video and drop your image in. Make sure to select Kling 1.5 from the menu on the top, since this model gives us the best results. Type then in the same prompt you use for runway. Choose then the professional mode and your desired length for the shot. You can also choose here the number of videos you would like to generate. Alright, as a last thing we scroll to the bottom and put in some negative prompts to help us have a clean and great video. You can put in here something like distorted faces, blur, smearing, low quality and disfigurement. Hit then generate. As a last and final step, we can upscale our AI video to 4K and add additional detail by using Topaz AI video. This step is optional since the software is quite pricey, but it's a one-time purchase so I can really recommend it if you would like to work a lot with AI videos in the future. Simply open the software once installed and upload your video. Then you can choose your desired output resolution and your AI model. I mostly use here the Proteus or Rea model. Just test out what works best for you. Choose then your FPS of the video and enable stabilization and motion deblur. On the codec setting on the right top, I will simply choose H264 and quality level to high. Hit then export and wait until your generation is done. Now you have a cinematic video created with AI in exceptional high quality. In case you're interested in learning more about AI video generation, Make sure to check out one of my most recent videos where I explain you the stunning AI video to video workflow in Runaway Gen 3. Of course, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and see you on the next one.